So, uh, if you can't see, drop me a chat message and just let me know you're having trouble seeing and we'll recycle everything. But this is Dynamics Nav 2009. Um, this interface in the R2 release is optional. In the next release, which will be coming out sometime this year, uh, this will not be optional. So if you're out there using Dynamics Nav and you're kind of hanging on to the old interface, this would be a good time to start using the new interface while you still have a while to, to get used to it. I think what that basically means is that anything new, any new functionality we're going to see is going to be in this interface. So I'm going to start out with what's called the Role Center. Uh, there are a number of different role centers that are designed for different ways people use the product. So for example, a small business owner has a role center, an order entry person has a role center, a uh, job cost supervisor might have a role center, and not only are there some built-in role centers, there are about 20, 18 to 20 built-in role centers that have already been created, but these role centers are relatively easy to customize and to create yourself if you want another one. Um, and I say customize, I mean customize in addition to what we can do um, on this particular page, which I'll show you. First real basic thing, you'll notice that we've got grab tabs here at different places, so we can of course make different panels bigger or smaller in NAV. You'll notice there's a Microsoft Outlook plug-in here. If I open that up, this is all fully integrated to uh, Outlook so that I can actually use this as my sort of gateway into Outlook and I can see everything that's going on. If I just click one of these, it will actually bring up the Outlook appointment that um, that it references. If I click an email, it will take me into the inbox or one of the mailboxes that uh, that I choose. Also here, all of these you'll see have a lightning bolt on them. Let me drag this down so you can see what happens when I click it. And you have the option of rem ah, stay out of removing this or of customizing it. I come down here to the customize, you can see I can actually say that I want to see some specific folders um, out of Outlook or I don't want to see mail. I want to see the calendar, how many days I can control different items related to this particular uh, control. It's wanting me to convince it that I'm the right person before it shows me. So I could show deleted items and whatever I wanted to show out of my different mailboxes. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. The My Customers is similar. It's got a customize screen. I'll have to minimize this thing. Let me make this a little wider. Uh, when I go here, and manage the list. This is actually designed so that I can pick a list of customers that I'm particularly interested in. And I just go through here and choose different customers. And once I've chosen the customers, then I have them over here. There are also some columns available here. I can put the customer balance on there if I wanted that. And now I can see that particular customer's balance, their phone number if I have one in there. And notice if I double click, then I get the customer record. So if you have a list of collection accounts or if you have customers you're particularly looking at some specific information on, you can put them up here. And you can see I can resize all of these columns, resize the screen, make this tab bigger, make it smaller. Uh, I can change the sort sort them by user ID, customer number, that kind of thing. Um, and I can close this up if I want more space. Items is similar. I have a list of items, and I'll just put one or two on there, that I might be particularly watching for some reason. And I can also choose some columns. 
That would be the quantity and in inventory. I can resize the columns. And by the way, all of this is per user. So if I customize this this way, if I change my screen around, nobody else is going to see that. This is going to save to my user uh, ID. So nobody else will have to mess with it. And of course, I can turn these different things off. There are ways to customize this page, to move things around, to add different parts. For example, I can take Outlook off. I can put Connect on and say OK. And then you will see that Connect is the thing that connects out there on the web and gives you Microsoft marketing stuff, um, which you also have some control over. Notifications, I'll show you in just a minute. We need to put some in there for you to see. Uh, what they look like. That's Connect. This is the main area of the panel of the Roll Tailored Roll Center. And you'll notice that this has got what we're calling stacks. And what this means is there are zero open sales quotes and there are 20 open sales orders. There are six ready to ship sales orders. There's zero partially shipped, and there are 15 delayed items. So this gives me a quick way to look and see what the status of different things in the system is. If I want to see the open sales orders, I can double click, and it takes me to those 20 open sales orders. I can go back to the Roll Center. I can see the delayed sales orders. I can go back to the Roll Center and see the ready to ship sales orders. And these are basically counters that have been positioned on the roll center. So one of the things that we uh, typically have looked at for uh, different clients using this interface is uh, whether we have what we need here. Do we need other stacks that might have something to do with job cost or with receiving or whatever? Now, it, the, the different role centers, for example, the role center for receiving uh, employee is going to have stacks on it related to open purchase orders and things like that. So that's what this is for. I can customize this area. If there's something here that I'm not interested in, let's say I don't use sales quotes, I can remove those and that stack will go away. And if I wanted to rearrange these, I could also rearrange them. Uh, any of this customization that I'm doing, if I mess up and I'll put it back like it was, there's always a restore defaults button. So that's an example of the customization of the Roll Center, um, which is, is a, a, available for every user. Now let's take a look at a list item. This is a list of sales orders. In the current NAV product, or in the old interface, I guess I should say, you typically got a card. So for example, you'd be looking at a sales order card. And then if you wanted a list, you would push a function key and get a list from there. This starts with a list. And the lists have this information panel over here. So that by clicking on one of the items in the list, I get a summary information over here about that particular customer. So this particular customer has a balance, has some outstanding orders, and these are my sales year to date. And you'll notice on some of these that these are actually links. So if I see he's got an outstanding balance and I want to see those, I can click it and it'll actually come up and say the outstanding balance is from that invoice. I can double click that and it will pop the uh, gotta go through navigate. I gotta go through navigate, and then I can get to the actual invoice document in the system. The same way we've always used navigate to get to that document. So the point here is to try to make available additional information. If I want to see that particular sales order, I just click it or double click it, and that sales order comes up. Now, one of the neat little productivity things here, I'll show you on this screen. Um, <clears throat> you know in the existing nav, <coughs> get a little more area here. In the existing nav, not everything that's available always shows. Some of them get cut off, like this column is not wide enough. And so I can right click here 
on the heading. And I can say I want that to be two lines high. Also now in the existing user interface, if I want to make all of my screens two lines high, I have to go through the individual screens and do it. In this case, I can just say apply this to all lists and yes, and now all my lists are going to have two, two line header areas. Also to add things, I can right click, I can go choose columns, and I've got a list of columns that are not currently shown that I can show. I'm going to show the salesperson code here. And so now here are all my open sales orders in the system with the salesperson shown. Now let's suppose that I'm PS and I don't want to see everybody's sales orders. So I'm going to go to salesperson code here and I'm going to do PS. That's the way this list is filtered. Now let's say I'm going to do this a lot. I'm actually going to use this particular filter to see my sales orders a lot. So I can come over here and I can do save view as and I'm going to call it PS sales orders. And I actually want this on the home activity group. This is the activity group right here. See home posted documents departments. I can say OK and I want to restart. And now when I come over here and open up sales orders, I have PS sales orders, which I can click. And you'll see it takes me directly to the screen and shows me PS sales orders. Because I didn't exit out of there, it didn't save that. All right. So that's another thing we can do. We can save many, many different filters. Also, we can do what's called an advanced filter. An advanced filter lets me compl compl do more than one filter. So I'm looking at only PS sales orders. Let's say I wanted to see only PS sales orders out of the white warehouse. So I might come over here and notice I have, these are the columns I'm showing. These are all the columns, so I can even filter on something I'm not showing. But I'm going to come down here to location code, and I'm going to choose the white warehouse. And then when we show those results, we'll see only the PS sales orders from the white warehouse. And we can save that. Uh, and give it a name. Now I'm not going to restart. I'm going to go back to the role center. And we'll do this, we'll look at a couple other things. So that's a way to save queries and not have to redo them. And you can just click on these to see what you wanted to see. Sales quotes, notice we can do the same thing. All of these that are expanded have some queries saved underneath them. And that's one of the significant productivity factors here. <clears throat> Let me show you another pretty significant productivity factor. Let's say we're on this sales order for one reason or another. And there's something that I need to tell the person in the warehouse about this particular order. I can come down here and click. And this is not something that I want necessarily for the customer to see. This is something internal. And so I'm going to say, you know, please give this order priority. And I'm going to send this actually to myself, but I would have a list of all the users set up here. And then I'm going to click the Notify button, and I'm going to save that. And so now I have a new note, and I can create a note that I don't notify. If I can spell. All right. So this is a note without notify. This is a note with notify. But what happens on notify is when I'm sitting at my role center, I get my notifications down here at the bottom. These can generally be
Hey, Chris, did you get audio back? Okay, good. How did you miss anything? Uh, what? Where did? Just in chat, let me know where you where you dropped out. Because in the very last, I was just saying that we were going to do this every month, and that we were going to stop here for now and have a quick intro. Okay. Um, let me walk back through the last couple of screens just.